गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट्स फ्रॉम इनहेरिटेंस फर्स्ट वन इज मेथड ओवर राइडिंग एंड देन सुपर क्लास कंस्ट्रक्टर एंड अनदर कॉन्सेप्ट अब्स्ट्रैक्ट क्लास ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बिफोर गेट इन टू ओवर राइडिंग यू शुड नो द डेफिनेशन एंड द बेस फॉर ओवर राइडिंग इज method overloading which we learnt in grade 11 so what is with method overloading method overloading is within a class two or more function with the same name this is what called as method overloading but now the methods which are defined with the same name in base class as well as derived class this is known as method overriding and in this case it should be handled carefully now look at here the first class with the name sample1 having two variable and display of method similarly sample2 is a derived class of uh, sample1 and it is again having a name display of but with a different in print out statements okay now using void show of method you tried calling display of method now question is which method will be invoked there is no doubt as we are going to create object for sample 2 and we will get access to the member methods of both base class and also derived class now in this case if you tried access display of method this will invoke a method present in derived class only you can't access the method in base class now in this situation how you can access to a base class method is you should use a super keyword so keep it in mind see super dot display of will invoke a display method present in base class whereas object dot display of will invoke a method present in sub class so you to handle method overridden you have to use super keyword it's a concept you have to learn here similarly another concept is called see here invoking overridden method using super keyword another concept is super class constructor so you know constructor constructor is to initialize member data members and the class name of the constructor and constructor's name should be same so constructor can be defined in both super class and also sub class but the problem is the sub class object can't implicitly call super class constructor so here also we need a help of super keyword to invoke a constructor of super class okay now look at this example employee is a constructor you want this employee constructor to be invoked in a derived class so what you have to do you have to use super keyword before the constructor is calling so super of nm will now call a give a call to this constructor so that the variable will get assigned as per the past value okay so today you learned the use of super keyword one is to invoke a overridden method another another one is to invoke a super class constructor okay so it may be asked in two more question next is abstract data type so what do you mean by abstract data type a class that doesn't allow creation of an object is said to be abstract class so as per inheritance concept you are using base class and also derived class yes so what is the concept of base class all the general general common features and properties will be available in base class so that the derived classes will inherit the features general features from the base class if you want to access the properties and features present in base class you will access it through the objects of sub class now the question is because of inheritance there is no need of creating objects for a base class okay which means that the base class never get instantiated then what is the need for writing class so in that situation what we can uh, uh, do means we can use or we can declare the class as abstract class so that the class will never instantiate it okay so that's a concept of abstract class and you have to declare the 
super class as abstract class so this is a homework problem uh, read understand and write java program using inheritance concept for this problem statement